This is Rostra, the St. Theodore Guerin Junior Classical League podcast, where we bring the lessons of classical study into the light for the benefit of all. Welcome back to Rostra. We continue our summer series here with a look of why Latin, uh, why study Latin in the 21st century, and we're getting to the part that I think everybody really, really likes, which is mythology. So many people love mythology. A lot of people really uh, decide to study Latin because of their interest in mythology, uh, whether that's through modern-day uh, books uh, like the uh, Percy Jackson series or uh, uh, even things like Harry Potter, which may not strictly be uh, mythology but still has some of that um, uh, fantasy aspect to it. There's just something about those stories that really, uh, really draws people so what is it about mythology that is so exciting and uh, is a part of, of really pretty much any Latin class? Well, the ancients had this great system of stories. That's probably the best way to put it, a system of stories. Uh, that really, folklore is what we're talking about. Um, various ideas about uh, deities. And uh, right away, we want to move away from, from talking about religion in the sense that so many people think about it today. Uh, for so many of, of the ancient people, uh, these gods were worshipped and were believed in, uh, as we would think about that today. But then for so many others, they, they really weren't. These are really more action and adventure stories, quite frankly, uh, much more akin to things we find in our comic books and, and some of our action-adventure movies. And that's the first aspect of mythology that really gets people, the big action and adventure. You think about the gods and goddesses involved in the story of the Trojan War or uh, after the Trojan War and the stories of uh, Odysseus on his way home as he's encountering uh, the opposition of Poseidon or Aeneas as he's on his way to found a new home for the Trojans and being opposed by Juno. Uh, so, those stories just grab people just like they do today and the reason that people want to go see the uh, big blockbuster movies. But there's another part of the ancient mythology that was really interesting and is really interesting uh, to people today. And I think that has to do with some of the um, some of the morality and ethics stories as well as the explanation of natural phenomena. And sometimes those purposes actually are in the same story. Take, for example... Uh, the story of uh, Phaethon, the young man who uh, wanted to prove that he was the sun god's son. And so he has to drive his father's chariot. And it's one of those stories where, you know, he was reaching a little bit too too high, right? This, this was beyond his ability as a young man to do. Uh, his father warned him against it, but he insisted. And then when he did, uh, all manner of things went wrong and his chariot just started soaring out of control and when it flew too high above the earth the earth froze and uh, when he dove too close to the earth uh, it the earth burned and so it's a story about uh, well it's a story about a lot of things it's a story it's a story about father son relationships it's a story about uh, maybe not reaching too far above your own abilities but also it explains why there are snow-capped mountains and why there are burned, scorched areas like the desert. Uh, we think of stories like uh, the wonderful story of Baucis and Philemon, uh, an old couple, and uh, one day uh, Jupiter and Mercury decided to visit the Earth to see if people were really being hospitable the way they should. And they went to house after house um, uh, in disguise, and house after house turned them away, wouldn't provide them with any food or lodging. Uh, and they came to this home, and sure enough, this poor old couple took them in, entertained them, gave them food, and then the gods turned around and blessed them. And it's a story that really it, it undergirded that value and principle of hospitality and, and, and why that is so, uh, so important. Uh, so we see the explanation stories of natural phenomena. We see stories that reinforce um, as, uh, aspects of morality and ethics. Um, and again, the, the great action and adventure. So uh, any good Latin class is going to get into mythology, both the Greek and the Roman, because there's such an interplay between uh, those two cultures. And uh, that's one more reason to study Latin in the 21st century. Thank you for listening to Rostra. You may check out all our episodes on Spotify and follow us on social media at GarenJCL. 
That's at G-U-E-R-I-M-J-C-L. <laughs>